You send out these things to our teachers during a vacation period. You tell them that they must renew, and you are saying to them that you must bring along with you records of your CPD hours that you've done before. The ministry does not have accurate records of our teachers' CPD hours. And so how do you determine then that I have maintained my license by acquiring 120 hours when you don't have the records? The other concern that we have is the fact that our teachers are expected to do these 120 hours over the five-year period. But how do they get to do those hours? The ministry provides workshop during the summer holiday for two weeks. That does not cater to all of our teachers. Managements do not do as many workshops throughout the year as well. So how would these teachers then arrive at 120 hours when the persons who are responsible, the ministry, nor the management, provide opportunities for them to gain 120 hours? A teacher visited me this morning because I want to, to highlight this issue of how these CPDs are logged. A teacher visited our office this morning. He went in to do his renewal, and uh, the teacher is responsible to provide a list of all the CPDs they've done. And incredibly enough, that teacher's license number isn't even correct on that listing provided by the ministry. Now, if that process has not been clarified, then what are we supposed to expect for thousands of other teachers who are out there who have been doing CPDs for many years? What are we going to be seeing when they start visiting the Ministry of Education and trying to get their list of CPDs that they have completed? It's, it's really... Um, I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, the frustration that, that these teachers will have in the next few coming days is tremendous. And like the president rightly said, we will support them. Whatever they decide to do on this matter, we will be there for them.